Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Janae and I am a flight attendant based in Chicago and we are on reserve and that means that I don't know where I'm going and tomorrow I specifically am doing airport standby. Airport standby is where I have to be at the airport in uniform waiting for a phone call from crew scheduling for a last minute flight and tomorrow my airport standby shift is six hours. I will be doing standby from 6 a.m. to noon or until I get called, whichever comes first. And I might have to go work a flight. I might have to pre-board a flight. It just really depends on what crew scheduling needs me for. If they have a last minute need to fill a flight, I might not get called. Who knows? We will see what happens. I have no idea where I'm gonna go, if I go anywhere. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me for my airport standby shift. So I will see you guys tomorrow. slept through three of the six hours of my standby. <laughs> So I did not get called on airport standby today. So we do not have a reserve assignment now. We won't get that till after three. I still have to bid for what I want tomorrow. Hopefully I get a three day, but literally my sign in was at 6 a.m. I had a friend who had a sign in at 6.15, so I went and saw them. And then I went into the crew room and I napped for like three hours. <laughs> I did not get like a ton of sleep last night, but I was like, as long as I don't get called early, I'll be able to nap. So that's what I did and then a classmate in front of mine was also on the same standby shift as me from 6 to noon So the rest of the time after I woke up we just hung out so that was really cool Like it was just a really chill day where I literally just slept and hung out with a friend so Sometimes a standby can be great every once in a while because like I got paid to just hang out in the crew room and see my friends so that was really cool but anyways I'm gonna head out because I smell this and it smells so good and I cannot wait to devour it so it's time to get this road on the show just kidding that was stupid but <laughs> time to get this show on the road <sighs> I got a couple hours of sleep and time to head out and hopefully it'll be airport nap time and crew scheduling won't call us. Fingers crossed. Literally like lightning on the way in here from the employee bus. So today should be fun. I got cold. I look atrocious, but I got called and I don't have time to put myself together any more than I already have. So, yeah. Fortunately, I am position two, which is not only my favorite position, but also I'm kind of holed up in the back, so. Welcome to Seattle. So four hours into my 4 a.m. standby assignment, I was called by scheduling and given a three-day trip. <laughs> so today's the day one of our three-day. We had one and done to Seattle, so that was really, really nice. I did have to get up like right away because I am on standby, so they called me like just after eight and it was a nine a.m. departure so I had to head straight to my gate I was like I look like a hot mess express I was not 
really expecting to get called today. <laughs> But that was like my first mistake was I wasn't expecting to get called today. So I was not prepared. I forgot like a ton of food that I was gonna bring just in case at Amy's, like my salad. And I literally left like all of my food except for my overnight oats and like one of my smoothies at her house. Whoops. So I don't have food besides like my overnight oats. So today we worked position two on the Boeing 737 and so position two is the back galley. I also do have exciting plans for tomorrow for our layover so stick around so you can see that. That's gonna be so much fun and really just the highlight of this trip. But in the meantime, the weather here in Seattle is not that great and it just stopped raining. Like the sun seems to be making its appearance, kind of, sort of but I only have about a three hour window before it starts getting dark. So I don't wanna be out in the rain and I don't wanna be out when it's dark. So we have to hustle. So here is the fit, pineapple bun and all. Super casual and basically all I have. And yes, I'm wearing a tank top when it's like 40 degrees outside because that's all I have left. So since I forgot to get food, the first order of business was to go eat. We went to a vegan restaurant called the Veggie Grill. Everything on the menu looked so good, but I ended up ordering a mac and cheese vegan burger. Look how yummy that looks, you guys. Next, we went to Target because I was looking for some new hair products. Next, I went to the famous Pike Place Public Market because of course I had to. I have been to the Pike Place Public Market many times before, but it's definitely one of my favorite places to visit in Seattle. It wasn't very busy and a lot of the shops were closing because I did go later in the day, so a lot of stuff was already closed for the day. But it was still fun to go walk around. After visiting the market, we had to head downstairs to Post Alley, also home to the Gum Wall. It was raining quite a bit, but this was just so pretty. So Next, we took a stop into Sephora, which has some of my favorite skincare brands, such as Kate Somerville and Sunday Riley. If I would have known this was here. <laughs> Is it open? I think it is. Oh, it is like about to close. Darn. I was so bummed that Anthropology was closed because I would have loved to go shopping. And then we saw some cool buildings. A 
Okay, anyways, bye. If I'm talking weird, it's because I have crest white strips in. Also, it is 8 p.m. and I am packed, ready for bed, ready to get up bright and early tomorrow at 3 a.m. Like, who is she? What? I don't even know who I am anymore. Am I turning into a morning person? No, 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 definitely not, no. <laughs> I want to get lots of rest tonight because I have exciting plans for tomorrow if all goes well. It is supposed to snow. Hopefully that doesn't affect my flight, but the plane that we are taking out is already in Seattle at the airport. So it landed, it's on the ground, like we're good to go as long as the weather doesn't mess anything up. But fingers crossed that it doesn't. Layovers have a tendency to get messed up if you make plans on them. So hopefully this is not the case. I really, really, really hope this is not the case because I'm really excited for this layover that I have tomorrow. But with that being said, I am going to get some sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow. plans so we have to hit the ground running and like change and like go <laughs> okay guys like I said like we are hurrying because the friend that I am meeting with just got off work so she is ready for me I didn't even tell you guys what I was doing today I was so secretive about it but honestly it was on purpose because when you make plans on layovers, that's when like stuff gets messed up with like flights and whatever. So I didn't want to like hype you guys up about all these big plans that I had today and then not make it. So I had randomly got this trip on standby and as you know yesterday we were in Seattle. But today we are in Orlando and I have a really good friend that lives here. So every time I'm on an Orlando layover or just in Orlando in general, I try to see her if it works out. And she just so happens to be off work. Like I literally just got to the hotel and she just got off work. So we have time to hang out. And another exciting part about it, like the most exciting part about it is that I get to see her because I adore her and I don't get to see her very often. So it is amazing to go see a friend. But another really cool part about it is she's a cast member for Disney as you are when you live in Orlando, I think. I don't know. <laughs> but we are gonna be able to go to Disney World. So that's where I'm headed like right now. Like I should be <laughs> ordering the Uber already because <laughs> I will try to vlog as much as I can, but I am gonna be on my phone. I'm not gonna bring my camera. I'm gonna leave it at the hotel. So hopefully my phone doesn't die and I can vlog and take pictures and all that stuff. So anywho, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Okay, all right, anyways, I'm gonna stop talking so I can go and have fun with my friend. Okay, bye. <laughs> So we are back, we had such a fun time, but I have to be up in five hours, so we're not really gonna talk about it tonight. We're gonna get ready and go to sleep. I have been super running around today. I haven't even been able to talk to you guys. Like, I'm so sorry, but we are at my hometown regional airport. Not even hometown, what am I talking about? But we are at the regional airport by where I live, we just flew in. I literally drove to Amy's to get my food and then took a nap. I literally took a nap on her couch for like an hour and then drove back to the airport to catch a flight back home. I don't know if I explained, but David gets in from a trip like midnight tomorrow, super late. So he's not gonna be able to fly. So he has to drive home. 
and so I'm not taking the car. I wasn't gonna take the car and drive home. Um, especially since I had the opportunity to fly home with the trip that I got, which was the goal and that was amazing. It was great that that worked out that way. So anyway, I'm here. I am waiting for my sister to pick me up and go home. I'm so tired, but it was so worth it. Like today's flight was like so easy. We just did a one and done from Orlando to Chicago. And then of course like my commute flight, whatever. But it was really easy. It was so easy. Like service was super easy. Um, it was just one. It was just easy, easy day. Besides getting up early. That was the hard part. <laughs> Fly so much higher, fly.